Hi dear souls and welcome to a new reading. This is Celeste and with this reading I will explore the three main current priorities aligned with your soul path. Now this has to do, it is connected, it may be like a continuation of the previous reading that I made named Am I on the right path aligned with my soul? So you can uh, find that reading if you are interested in, in that reading. We have spoken about the priorities of your soul and we have compared those with your current priorities. And we have seen the differences there. Now with this reading, I am going to go in depth looking at the three main priorities in alignment with your soul path. So we can um, see more details about your path and its current priorities or focuses. Now in this reading we will take a look at the main priorities and also the hidden factors, those things that affect your priorities somehow. Then we will also see the resources that you have and you can use to fulfill those priorities and um, the abilities that need to be developed so you can fulfill your priorities easier. Now, my experience with this reading has also been interesting because, for example, the abilities that I need to develop were named the seer and the healer. Well, that fits me really well because I need to develop those abilities more and more. And one of my priority was actually to become more and more visible, to actually do this, what I'm doing now, and also employ other means to become visible and seen. So to me, this has been like um, remembering and also has helped me to be focused and really have confidence in my priorities and in the guidance I receive and in developing my abilities. And maybe this will do the same for you. Now this is a detailed or in-depth reading and it may give you a lot of information and details to take a look and compare and integrate. So take your time with this. Just um, be relaxed and let the information sit with you so you can um, really get into those useful places and steps so you can put that into manifestation so you can use that information in your benefit. To get the best out of your reading and learn what's the key to clarity and how to work with the reading, then you can watch the videos in the playlist Get the Best Out of Your Readings, link in the description box. To remind yourself of the main points, listen to the video section named How to Work with the Reading. Now, if you are new to pick a card readings, then let me explain how this works. This is an introduction, but if you desire to find out the key to clarity and how to make pick a card readings work for you, then I invite you to check out the video named the key to make pick a card readings work for you, link in the description box. This is a general reading with a personal touch because you get to choose between these four piles. I am reading for a group and for a dominant energy. If you are close to the dominant frequency, then most things will resonate. If you are not, then some things will resonate. You will need to pick and choose what works for you and let all of the other things go. Do not expect this to be like a personal reading, although sometimes it may feel like this way. Try not to take things literally and to let the information sit with you for a while. The actual guidance will come from your divine self. Let the guidance arise from within. Remember that you have free will and no reading can actually bind you. If uncomfortable feelings or judgments 
come to the surface or you get triggered somehow. Remember that this is a general reading and I usually recommend that you let them go because they might not be about you. If they are intense and you still feel they are about you, then this is an opportunity for you to work with them. By working with the uncomfortable issues, you grow and expand in consciousness. After you choose your pile, you can go into the description box and find the timestamps so you can jump straight to your reading. You can choose one pile or more. Take into account that you may not find the appropriate reading for you for the first time. In this case, just try another pile. Sometimes you may not find the pile that speaks to you and this means there may not be a message for you in this reading at this time. Let's discuss a bit how to get the best out of this reading. If you wish to go in depth with this topic, then you will find in the description box an entire playlist with videos about this subject, like for example how these readings work, what's the key to clarity, how to work with them and get all the benefits, how to choose a pile and understand what can influence your choice and others. Each reading has the potential to help you, but your action will also be needed. By integrating and clearly understanding the message, you will help yourself by making the information work for you in a beneficial way. During the reading, my voice, my state, represents the energy being exposed through the reading and not necessarily my own natural state. Sometimes my voice will express many vibrations all at once and this may prove uncomfortable. Some readings may get you confused because of the liminal space I am working from, the energy explored and because many times the information may not be offered in a linear way. Some readings may trigger you or activate uncomfortable feelings and judgments. This is a general reading so I invite you to focus only on what resonates and let everything else go. If you find that you cannot do this and they are intense, then remember that this is a great opportunity for you to notice these triggers, these feelings and judgments and work with them to understand their message. I have my own language, so even if for me the message may be clear for you, it might not be or it may take some time. By working with the reading, you will arrange it, order it, so you may clearly understand it. Clarity comes with proper integration and time. You can do this by taking notes, making a summary, taking your time and contemplating on the visions, questions, using the exercises if there are any mentioned. Re-listening will always help you better integrate the information. When you re-listen, you will understand new things, new details and new perspectives. Sometimes re-listening is strange. It is like you've never listened before, although you did. This happens to me too and most of the times is very exciting. These are some ideas to get you started, but you may receive more according to what you need, so take your time with this. The clearer it is, the more useful it will be. And clarity comes with order and integration. The structure for this reading is as follows. We have three tarot cards here that will represent the main priorities for you right now. Priorities aligned with your soul. Now, in the last reading I've made, the one named Am I on the right path aligned with my soul? We have spoken about the priority of your soul, the main priority and your priorities. And in this reading we are going in depth with uh, more priorities that are in, aligned, in alignment with your soul and we are exploring also other aspects. So this is connected to that one, the other reading 
and uh, you can connect the main priority of your soul with these ones these will be more in depth and you can create a connection between that and this one and if there is something in contradiction just ask ask yourself how can i see the connection here because there is a connection that you are not seeing in that case okay now the other aspects here we have um, hidden factors now these hidden factors speak about what is there that you do not see and is influencing your priorities in some way then here we have resources these are resources that you can tap into to fulfill your priorities and here we have abilities and these are abilities that need to be developed so you can have um, a better experience in fulfilling your priorities so you can uh, fulfill your priorities easier let's choose your pile if you would like to understand in depth the process of choosing a pile and what may influence your choice then you are invited to watch the video named how to choose your pile link in the description box first take a few normal breaths come back to yourself and center to ease the state i'm going to quickly guide you relax and get comfortable feel your body and notice the tensions let go of the tension slowly and become soft. Clear your mind and your emotional field. Ground and stabilize your field. Strengthen your auric protection and safety. Strengthen and stabilize. Strengthen and stabilize. Strengthen and stabilize. Feel safe within your field. Imagine a sphere of light any color you desire around your body and feel safe within if you cannot imagine it is okay just feel the contours and the energy of your body and feel connected and safe within let's take a few deep breaths together one Two, three, Now open yourself to receive the reading in a way that is useful for you. Ask that you get clarity and that you hear what is meant for you. Now that we are ready, let's choose your pile. Now for some of you, you may be choosing by looking at the, at the cards and at um, the crystals closely. Another part of you may choose with your eyes closed or by feeling. So go with what works for you. So for part one, we have this beautiful Kabamba Jasper. For pile two, we have this hematite for pile three we have this dark blue gold stone For pile number four, we have 
this sodalite crystal. After you've seen up close all the piles, let yourself be called towards the one or the ones you find most attractive. Go with the feeling and intuition. You may be attracted to one pile or more. You may be attracted to none. Please take into account that you may not find the right pile for you from the first time. In this case, just try again. Choose another pile. Sometimes you may find that none of the piles have messages that speak to you and that's okay. In this case, there may not be a message for you in this reading at this time. Take your time and choose your pile. Hi pile number one, welcome to your reading. You have chosen this Kabamba Jasper. Now as I connect to the energy of this pile, what I feel is a lightness, just like a feather. And I am actually seeing a feather flying in the air, being carried away by the air and uh, letting, permitting, allowing to be carried away. And it is just such a peaceful energy. But at the same time, there is this... Um, fear of being carried away in the wrong places or in the wrong directions of just letting go of all of the things that kept you feeling safe and becoming just um, a leaf in the wind allowing the wind to carry you in new places in unknown places in uh, just uh, adventures real adventures that you haven't yet um, explored places you haven't yet seen and this is causing a bunch of inner agitation excitement but also fears but there is a lot more courage here than fear and uh, that is really a joy to see and feel because that courage is the one that is allowing you to um, fly and to also attract the kind of vibration, the kind of winds that you actually need because it's not so that we permit or that we let go of control and we become like a leaf in the wind being carried away and manipulated by the wind but that we resonate strongly with the kind of wind that we actually um, enjoy and that we permit that kind of um, movement that we allow that type of wind and vibration to actually carry us because yes we shouldn't just give up to a vibration to uh, the wind that would carry us in the wrong um, directions but we are at one moment in our lives actually pushed to um, surrender to the vibration of the wind that actually is beneficial for us. So this is something that you are learning 
how to uh, let yourself be carried by the vibration that would actually support you in a beneficial way. That is really um, good to see in, in your file. Okay, now the last time in the last reading that I uh, did, we talked about the differences between your priorities and the priorities of your soul. And in this one, I'm going to go ahead and um, expose the three main priorities that would be part of that main priority we discussed the last time. But these will be in much more detail and we will get to see those priorities in your life right now that are aligned with your soul and that could carry you on that uh, special wind, that special vibration so that you can actually allow and permit for that movement to actually happen and support you, of course, in your life. So these here are the three priorities. Now let's see if uh, we have any visions in this pile, then we will go to the messages of the cards and at the end we will um, get to uh, come up with a conclusion or some simple steps to uh, start connecting with these priorities and use them in your life. Okay, so as, as a vision, what I see is that I have two partial visions okay just let me see them so i see this partial image here and that is of someone cleaning on a chord instrument it's a kind of a piano but with chords well the piano has chords but you don't sing directly on them but on this one you do it's kind of uh, those types of chinese instruments really big chordy ones so i'm not sure what the name of that is but this person here is cleaning this up with water and a sponge doesn't seem the appropriate way to do that by the way <laughs> Probably that's not the way to do it. Okay, so um, let's go to the other one because these are partials. I need to combine them. So let's go and see the other partial image. And we have uh, someone stuffing pillows with feathers. Yes, making pillows out of feathers. And then uh, also uh, making them appear beautiful like in different shapes and forms and uh, covers and arranging them all in a bed making sure that this bed is amazingly comfortable like they are expecting someone that is important in their lives in the lives of the community so someone they respect someone they look up to and they would like to um, accommodate in that place so let's put these two together and see uh, also why they were partial and separated so what i understand here is that uh, these people both both of them they are preparing for someone important to come to them someone they look up to, like a mentor or someone important in their community. And uh, they are preparing, for example, uh, the bed with the pillows and also the musical instruments to be used as a welcoming committee or something to play and welcome this person in their community. So what I am understanding is that uh, you here in this pile, you are starting to uh, welcome in your lives priorities that are more important than you used to in, uh, in the past. 
like in the past you had well normal priorities let's say everyday priorities but right now you are ready to welcome in priorities that are of another quality that uh, also include you your family your community your purpose your gifts you see things in a broader aspect like in a higher perspective and because of that you are able right now and you can welcome in priorities of a different quality of a different uh, type of expression so you can bring more manifestations into your life that are in your benefit and there is something more here this person you do not know yet so you do not know those priorities yet but you are excited about them you know that uh, they will um, be in alignment with your soul you're working to um, refine them to get to know them to understand them to reorientate and organize your life in another way so you can include those priorities that are valuable to you right now and maybe that they were not as valuable in the past yes you are putting more value into your life with these new priorities and because of this you are making yourself more comfortable in your own vibration and oh yes and also more comfortable to go with that wind with the, the vibration that will actually support you because this person is like um, also this type of mentor that you look up to because they are of that type of vibration that you wish to embody and you are welcoming that as well as you are welcoming the wind and that uh, type of surrender surrendering to um, the flow of the vibration that actually supports you right now you're just opening up to welcome these priorities and these vibrations but um, in the future you will be uh, a friend to them you will not see them as um, I'm looking up to this vibration because I am down in uh, in my place in my position right now so in the future you will uh, start to become uh, friends with these new vibrations and also integrate them more into your life your everyday life and uh, they will become more comfortable to you of course because right now i do not feel that this is comfortable to you yes you surrender but you struggle to do that you struggle to surrender you uh, do not have that uh, flow that really goes with the flow <laughs> okay now let's um, uncover these three vibrations and we have the hero fund judgment and the star wow so as i uh, already mentioned these are big priorities that have to do with your life's mission that have to do with um, your past but also your future that have to do with the connection with the higher realms and with your higher self and that has to do with learning and also becoming really connected with your true self and healing deeply so now we will take each of them i will not go into depth with these because priorities in my view need to really be simple so you can actually start to understand them and put them to work and recognize them in your life but i will let them um, convey a few messages or a few indications depending on their energies uh, but first let's go ahead and um, 
See how do these priorities look in your everyday life. So let's, let's look at each of them from this point of view. So this one, the hero font. This is a priority that speaks to you about society that is really important to understand how to live here, how to integrate yourself in this current society and how to learn to be okay with it as it is. And again, how to um, learn and learn and learn about what is accustomed in this uh, world or in this society by the majority what is accepted by the majority what does the majority desire and are you okay with that if you're not okay with that that's not an issue but you can make it an issue and create conflicts and this is why this is important for you as a priority to learn how to accept the world and its rules as it is, its traditions, what the majority desires, what is the path of the majority or the main timeline in this uh, earthly realm, and what is the, their major beliefs, like the, the collectives, beliefs so you do not get surprised by them or caught into a corner by them or manipulated by them or uh, misdirected or um, lied to or made to feel incorrect or made to feel like you do not fit here or made to fit um, a certain pattern that uh, is not beneficial for you. By knowing all of those things, like the majority, how the majority is, what are the collective beliefs, what is actually allowed and why, what do people support, then you can understand how to adapt without, without diminishing yourself but restricting yourself where it is needed so you get to live here in harmony. Then another type of uh, priority that comes from this one is learning. Learning in a disciplined way. Learning through a mentor or through a spiritual guide. Really understanding that uh, mentors and teachers are a blessing when you can find that mentor and teacher that is in vibration with you in the same wind like you when you need them and that they don't have to only resonate with that particular vibration because we have multiple a range of vibrations with which we resonate and which we radiate in the world but you can um, you can be okay with that finding a mentor and taking what you need and letting go of the other things that you may not agree with or you may not actually better understand what that person actually conveys and that is fine that's okay as well but here the key is for you to uncover the priority for you is to be open to learning. To be open to learning not only for, from mentors that actually do this, that actually teach or guide people, but uh, from anyone in your life, from your family members, from your children if you have any, from uh, your uncles, aunts, from your friends, from animals, from the objects in your house. It really doesn't matter. This is actually a priority for you to have an open mind. So you can be able to learn from everything and anything and actually do some programs, courses, 
Go uh, and follow the people you wish to follow or learn from, of course. But also be open to uh, change fast from one to another and be open to learn from anyone. It doesn't matter the age, it doesn't matter they be their beliefs, their languages, wh what and how they transmit. Everyone has something to teach you if you are open enough to find that out, to recognize that in them. Okay, so that is enough. Then we have judgment. Now, be aware that these priorities are really high in vibration. They are mostly for your um, self-development, for the connection with your spirit and soul and divine team. So in the, in the material life, they will also express in a somewhat spiritual shape or form. So now we have judgment and the star. So judgment here is in your daily life about forgiving yourself and others and accepting your own abilities and your own call to um, your life's mission. When you accept your own abilities, you understand what you can control and act upon and what you cannot control and act upon and you will be fine with both because you will feel the power that you can apply and by applying that you will not feel that you don't have any control or power and then you are here called to forgive because you cannot help everyone or guide everyone and to let go of judgments of judging yourself short or too much and of judging others short or too much of speaking out of um, anger of speaking out of too much unresolved emotional issues and traumas of um, judging people because they uh, do not express in the way you would like them to ex express, of judging mentors as well and teachers, of having too high expectations from yourself and uh, from the other people in your lives. And this is also a priority of releasing pressures, releasing the pressure uh, upon yourself to be really great or to be really good the best that this doesn't mean that you shouldn't strive to be better or your best but by uh, becoming really stubborn in that you can go ahead and um, become this really uh, righteous person that always judges others because they did, don't do that or the other or uh, they are um, lower in vibration for example you become this um, tormentor of yourself and of the other people because you exaggerate with the righteousness with what is right and what is wrong so here the priority is to let judgment go and also understand the duality of expression of people and yourself, the limits that we have to express and uh, the energy of expression. And another priority here for yourself is to find your mission and follow it, to hear the call, the guidance, to go ahead and employ the guidance by learning and uh, by following the programs, the teachings, by reading, by searching and by letting go of your expectations and results in uh, this process. Then the star here is a priority of you being more sensitive of you understanding the hurts and the traumas and the pain of the world, of you really letting that go and uh, understanding the truth beneath all of that, that all of us suffer, for example, that all of us have 
so many things on our plate that we may not understand what you desire or what you love to do or who you are and that is in your hands to tell us to tell us who you are and what you would like to live and experience so this is a powerful call to healing and uh, emotional stability and coupled with judgment we see this desire of forgiveness and healing old traumas healing emotional um, emotional distress and pain understanding that everyone has pain in their own way that there's no one that's better here or that has it all in, a, in an easy way that we all struggle that we all struggle to strive to be better and we do whatever we think it is best for us and we may be wrong and this is where forgiveness comes again you are called really strongly by all of these cards to forgiveness to really work with forgiveness and understand what that means and that this process of forgiveness it is not a process where you impose yourself to let go of something but it is a healing process where you accept pain in yourself and in others and you accept motives and you accept to see the truth beneath all of the actions even if they are harmful and this means to also be kinder to other people and to yourself so we see here a call to connect with your higher self to see things in a broader perspective to understand uh, and put a priority on emotional healing of your relationships and on uh, an open mind for learning okay let's go and we will see the hidden aspects in your case here what is lurking in the dark and it is affecting you from following these priorities in your life and first we have house three with early learning childhood relations the ra rational mind and communication and then we have erosion and retreat so here we see the house tree is a hidden aspect this means to me and also the erosion here they speak to me of the fact that there are some mental patterns that are eroding inside of you your trust your faith to follow these priorities and your life's mission and learning and healing and these uh childhood childhood patterns uh, that you've learned in in your earlier years of life have also affected the way you communicate and that communication erodes the relationships in your life so you see here that these patterns affect your communication so and this also rejects people in your life or makes you unavailable to them or them unavailable to you emotionally and affects relationships in really in a really deep way because we see here that these things are not solved and they are eroding little by little the relationships in your life and also the connection you have to your higher self and the connection you have with the other aspects of self they are eroding away and uh, this aspect is really hidden in your unconscious and subconscious and is just eating away there so here we see that you are called to heal aspects of your childhood and things that have been learned in the 
early years of childhood and that affect your communication. So pay attention to how you speak to yourself and how you speak to other people because in the way that you speak, you will find these patterns that affect, affect your uh, relationships and also the connection you have with your higher self and with the guidance and with your desire to follow these spiritual uh, priorities in your life. Okay, now we will go and see the resources that you have available to work with these priorities and also the abilities that you can use. Um, those abilities you could have or you need to develop. So here we have resources and we have fixed with stability, persistence, loyalty and dependability. So we see here that you have a resource to be dependable, loyal and persistent to yourself. This means that you have determination, courage like I saw in the early, um, in the early uh, sensations that I got from this pile and its energy. So you have all of those things, persistence, stability available to you to use, but you're not using them because the trust is eroded here and you've retreated in yourself and kind of coiled back in yourself. And uh, you persist in it and insist in that place Instead, instead of persisting and insisting to do all of these priorities here. And let's go and see what type of other resources you have. And you have look to nature. And this, this connects with the Hierophant here because nature is a great teacher. So you have resources in nature that you do not use as much. Like, for example, nature can help you build your trust back and your stability and your persistence and can also provide inspiration and a place to clear your mind and to work on these patterns that erode your relationships and can also be a place to heal relationships as well. And uh, learn the stable, persistent way to work on yourself. And then we have God speaks beyond the veil. <laughs> Look at this. I read them together like this and they make so much sense. This is a resource for you. So I can see that God speaks beyond the veil. So you get uh, insights, you get uh, all sorts of intuitions and messages from uh, your divine team speaking beyond the veil but you're having a really hard time hearing them or listening to them there is something here about you not listening to them or not knowing how to listen how they actually sound how to catch that intuition before it goes away or disappears. How to shift your attention point so you can actually hear God speak beyond the veil and inside of you. So you can actually um, follow the guidance. So here you have as a resource guidance, intuition inside of you that you can use but also guidance and intuition that comes through other people. Like I have spoken here, by keeping an open mind, you can learn from everyone because God speaks from everyone, from each of us. And if we develop that skill to listen, then we are and will be able to listen no matter who is speaking. And that is a really interesting thing when you get to understand that because you get to understand that it doesn't matter who speaks. Well, it does in some cases, of course, but uh, you can find God speaking through anyone. 
it doesn't matter what they are speaking, but you need to know how God speaks to recognize that language. So here you have intuition and omens or signs coming to you that you need to pay attention as a resource and also guidance and um, people that speak and help you and guide you and you can use them as well as a resource. Now let's go and see the abilities that we have for you here. And oh, and we have the listener and the soothsayer and the south node destined to release. So I'm going to speak about this first because we see here that um, you need to develop this ability or skill to release things, to heal emotionally and to forgive. This, uh, this is something that is needed and I feel that some of you are working on this. I'm telling that you've been making some um, good progress in uh, yes yes they are actually showing me <laughs> showing me that some of you have um, been writing or doing some exercises about forgiveness and about working with emotional release and uh, your guides are, re are really proud this is why they are showing me this and they are telling you go on just just have trust uh, stop uh, judging yourself just do more of it okay now we see these two here soothsayer and listener so these are the skills that uh, you need to develop and abilities the listener to listen more not only to hear usually people only hear listening is something else Listening is opening your mind and your ears to hear God speaking through everything and to actually uh, have that ability to hear, then listen and then understand, going under and standing in all of it, in the whole wisdom and really getting to the essence and then seeing also the decorum or what people usually get when someone is speaking. And that is a skill that is not easily developed. I mean, um, this may take lifetimes. So this, uh, I have also speaking, spoken here about adjusting your expectations as well. So here, listening is one of the skills that needs to be developed. And then we have the soothsayer. The soothsayer is actually the person who tells the truth, the one who says the truth. This is the soothsayer. And uh, because the truth soothes someone, and uh, responds and replenishes uh, questions and all sorts of desires. So after you listen, you are invited to develop the skill to say the truth to yourself first and then to other people. And that can also take time. Okay. So we've seen that your priorities here are truly in your spiritual um, endeavors and self-development and healing aspects. And they are extremely powerful as well as this call for you to follow the path, your own path, to follow the call of your mission and to heal while doing that, while walking your path, to learn, to dedicate, Yes, to really become dedicated and um, dedication is something that you build, you build through practice and uh, you get skilled at it while you practice and learn. Okay, so now what is the simplest thing you can uh, start with is exactly these types of um, exercises about forgiveness, yes, about 
you starting to understand for forgiveness. For example, ask yourself, what does it mean to me to forgive? What does it mean to other people? What does it mean to uh, someone I look up to? What does it mean to um, someone who is really not knowledgeable? What does it mean to a guru or someone in the psychological um, domain that studies uh, the mind of people? So try to gather more information about what that means to you first. And then listen. Listen also to your guidance and uh, come up with some uh, other ideas about what forgiveness is to you because I feel that you need to reposition yourself in connection to what forgiveness is so then you can recognize what you need to do next but I can give you a clue now because I am being asked to do that to uh, connect forgiveness with release try to connect and understand the connection between forgiveness and release emotional release in um, ah, I'm lost for words right now because this is enough for you so study and learn about forgiveness and um, release in general okay now and also try to connect if you have uh, also seen the previous reading that priority of your soul there with these detailed priorities for you here if you have contradictions, try to understand that this is a general reading, so you need to adapt things to yourself and pick and choose. But also, if there is a big contradiction, ask yourself why. Because there is something there that needs to be connected and needs to be discovered by you. And you can discover that connection by asking. What is the connection that I am not seeing? And why am I in conflict here? What's happening? Okay, so if you've enjoyed this reading, go ahead and let me know in the comments about your experience. I also invite you to subscribe if you haven't already, to click the like button and let me know that you like these types of readings. And then you are also welcomed and invited on the telegram channel where you can uh, speak to me also and tell me what types of readings would you like to see on this channel until next time where i hope i will see you again i wish you all of the best may you be showered with blessings and may you see your way and understand your priorities and uh, love and wisdom Hi, Pal 2. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen this hematite stone. Very shiny hematite. What I feel here is a warmth, just like a fire. Uh, a heart, the center of the house, warming the entire house in a winter's day. I'm just seeing this beautiful fire warming this house, but the house is empty and it feels like a memory more than uh, something that is happening here and now. Something that is remembered with fondness, something that is remembered with love and desire for it to happen again, to have this passion in the house. Oh, that's what I feel here, yes. That there is this um, idea and desire to have more passion in your home, 
with your partner or with your family in general to have heightened connection heightened um, loving connection and kind aware beautiful but there is this idea that maybe it's not the time or that there is a delay or that there is something stopping you or there's just um, not enough knowledge on how to do this on how to obtain that uh, house warming fire okay and then uh, i see something else i see someone in a cemetery <laughs> yes um constructing a headstone out of rocks and they are writing their own name on this headstone oh not only their name other people's names as well on each stone i can see a name and this person is writing ah i understand what what they are doing they are leaving behind their images the image that they have constructive of constructed about all of these people including themselves they are leaving that image behind this includes the expectations about that connection and the desires they had and some people are actually left behind completely like they they are ending those relationships so mostly they are ending a lot of relationships not that something happened to those people no they are just ending those relationships oh closure they are getting closure on those relationships also with people they have not seen in a while something was left there that needed to be closed and this is happening right now for you you are closing a lot of relationships old ones or current ones or settling somehow that connection you are gonna get new rules about that connection in the future if you wish to maintain it of course oh and this is because that passion has gone out the fire i saw earlier and also like you see no use in those relationships like you have changed something in you so greatly that now you do not resonate with these people and the passion and the fire that bound and warmed your relationship isn't there anymore yeah so this is what i hear that you're going through right now and it is a priority for you okay now let's go and see uh, the cards right now that we've uh, gone through the visions then we will uh, get to also um, put this into some simple steps to start you on your way into applying these these uh, priorities so if you've been with me in the last uh, reading that i've made that one was about the main priority of your soul and your main priority and uh, we saw if uh, those were in alignment or not and today in this one i am getting into depth with your current priorities and these are connected with the main priority of your soul discussed in uh, the previous in the previous uh, reading okay now let's go and see the cards and we have the world for you as a priority the queen of discs or pentacles and the two of wands so immediately i see connected with the visions i had that there is this priority for you to move on 
and to have a new image or vision about your life and to make new plans about your future and to start new things not necessarily to start but to uh, continue things that you have already recently started or decided upon and to take those uh, new priorities into consideration and put them to work so i can see you're constantly working to create something like a new organization in your life new uh, arrangement of your priorities and new arrangement of people around you like you're moving all of the pieces in your life so you can um, fit them into a new puzzle you are creating a new puzzle that is exciting <laughs> and uh, i also see you working a lot so this is a priority that i am speaking about right now and it is about your work and your business you are very invested in your home or making your home a secure place in um, preserving whatever is useful in um, amplifying whatever resources you have in your life like for example um, putting some money to the side and um, accumulating some money and not to uh, expending so much for example and uh, implicating those money or those resources in something that's truly useful for you you're kind of reorientating your energy here and um, implicating yourself in things that are useful for you and letting go of those things that are no longer useful and you're done with so many things because a priority in your life right now is to be done with a lot of things like um, with no mercy i'm seeing someone really saying get out that's it i'm not doing this anymore i'm just not i'm gonna say this and this ends here no longer no longer doing this no longer wanting to continue this i'm not doing this anymore okay just that's it so one of your priorities it's a main priority it's a really big one it's one of the um, this one actually um, drives the other two and i've also seen this in um, the vision with the headstone and uh, this idea that you're leaving behind a lot of people and relationships and your expectations and the images that you had about those people and also all sorts of things that you had envisioned about those people and the future and about what you wanted to do with them and you're leaving all of that behind now yes you are important see you need to, this is this is really important to just get all of those things done so you can feel whole again because this is another priority your integrity so you can feel okay with yourself so you don't have to betray yourself sell yourself or uh, self-sabotage yourself you're done with that and with many things that uh, are no longer in um, in resonance with you because you have uh, put your pants on mm -hmm. you have matured you have become really safe in your place and you're doubling down this means that you're making this um, this space this business that you have these projects really uh, fruitful yes you are making them grow and become fruitful and you start to know what you need to do and you're learning like how to increase my income how to um, spend less and uh, get more money or resources towards me how to end those things that do not bring back profit 
how to end those relationships that do not work and create others who do work and create partnerships that I do need and which um, do support me for uh, the long run. In the future, you're thinking in a new way and this is another priority. You are learning to think um, ahead like to see in the future, not like um, prediction, but to um, envision and to think in the future. Like if I do this now, is it going to help me and sustain me in the future? Or this is temporary. So this is the third priority here, to think on the long run and to... Um, arrange everything in your life and organize everything so that it supports you and provides security on the long run and um, because of this because you're doing all of these uh, things you may find that you get to be in conflict with some people with other people's opinions, with projects that come toward you and you no longer want to support them or even make them anymore. You realize that it is too much work, that it is too much energy and that you're not getting much back and this doesn't support you and this cannot go on anymore. This is something else that you have the priority here to finish. To let go of those projects that do not uh, bring as much as you give back. And this is because you are becoming this energy here, the Queen of Pentacles, who does not shy away of uh, becoming really um, practical and can be uh, sometimes extremely stubborn and ask uh, her own worth and know what she is worth and never back down. Being determined to um, get your worth. It's like you're not waiting anymore. And this is why this uh, new vision on life and perspective is developing in you and it's becoming a priority. Now, this is really beautiful for you here. I can see that you are in a new energy and you've been in this energy for some some months now at least and uh, for some of you you are beginning to recognize this energy but you've been in it for some time as well so first priority here let go and finish uh, without mercy everything that needs to finish and everything that does not bring back what you put in and uh, this can be absolutely anything then the second one accumulate learn how to be fruitful how to make more of what you have how to make more money, more resources, and be secure in your house. Take care of yourself. This is the priority. And taking care of yourself means making your house in the way that you would like to, and without excuses, and without delays, and without always accommodating everyone else around you, but really knowing what you desire, what you want, what you are worth, and knowing that you are worth respect from other people, that you are worth to be accommodated as well, you know, that you are worth to be treated with kindness and not to be left um, waiting. You do not uh, need to, uh, you know, understand everyone besides yourself. You can accommodate everyone, but not yourself. What does that mean? You are also worthy of being accommodated and supported and um, satisfied by other people in your life as well. And your vision matters for the future. 
So here you are finishing up a lot of things, really uh, becoming stable in your place and in your home and in your business and then preparing letting new ideas and new endeavors and passions come into your life so that passion is one of your priority that fire that i saw in the beginning to start a new in a new way so here again with this you will start new things and you will prepare for them first like what do i really want what am i passionate about right now how can i implicate more energy there do i need to learn something first what do i need to um to prepare how how can i find people that support me in that area and here i can also for some of you see that uh, another priority is to find people that support you and that can collaborate. I, I think I spoke about this before. Yes, that people that can collaborate with you in your business, for example, and support you and bring ideas or fresh, fresh ideas into your business and help you enhance your business and become bigger and more supported and safer and secure in who you are and in your place in the world. So that is really important for you right now to find security in the world and to um, enhance your place in the world and whatever um, resources you get and how you build your home, your financial um, aspects, how you uh, implicate your energy, your time and your money all of that and um, you are asked here to also put some intentions for the future and envision what do you actually desire there now let's go and see here first what is or um, what's hidden what are the hidden aspects that are uh, somehow messing with your priorities so let's see and we have Phenomenon, transient, phenomenon, transient, and house four, cultural and family roots, home, peace, and comfort. Now that's interesting because here we saw that one of the priorities is actually home and comfort. But right now we have something that's hidden there that's not working with you, that's working against you. And we have transient and phenomenon. From these two, what I get is that um, there are some things that you cannot control that may uh, lead you astray or may uh, distract you from your priorities. But these things are transient, so they are easily pushed to the side by you if you are not paying so much attention to them. So you are here asked not to pay so much attention to the things that may appear in your life and distract you. Quickly push uh, them away and then bounce back into your own priorities and let them go because they are just something that comes and goes. Like the phases of the moon, you don't have to deal with them. Just let them go. And this is about house four. So some things about your house. Oh, yes. Yes, now I'm getting to the visions again. Because that was about the house and the passion in it going out. And also people you leaving people in uh, behind or somehow letting go of them and your expectations about them and that is actually something that is distracting you and it's lurking in the darkness oh uh, yes 
because there are attachments here. There are some people that you need to leave behind and that you have attachments, strong connections with them. And this is difficult, of course, of course. And it's kind of uh, dragging you down. It's causing some heaviness in your relationships and uh, it's messing a little bit with your priorities here. But um, it's transient. This will go away as well if you do not uh, engage with it and create drama out of it. Also, another thing is expectations that you have about people that are close to you. You may be betrayed in those expectations and of course learn that you need to let go and stop demanding those things from people because they may not be able to give them to you and actually accept that they cannot satisfy you or give uh, to you in that way and maybe um, look for acceptance here and forgiveness and compassion and this this is something that uh, is hidden it's a hidden aspect that is demanding a few um, well energy is demanding some energy from you is uh, distracting you a little bit it's a drag it's something that you may not wish to see or engage with but is also in this um, idea that it will go away you will uh, get into the place of acceptance and you will grow out of uh, this and it will be done by you understanding and following your priorities instead of um, letting this aspect distract you because you may be reluctant to deal with these things to see that people maybe uh, cannot um, meet you on the same frequency they cannot maybe communicate with you in the same way or uh, offer you the support that you need and that can be um, well it can take you in a zone that's not useful for you and that is actually the distraction but if you look at this and understand that um, well we all change but some change in a different way that than you would desire or expect and that's fine and uh, you will adapt to this slowly by working with your priorities okay now we will see the resources that you have and the qualities that need to be developed so you can deal with your priorities so first we have resources and we will have here sex style, a combination of tension, flow, potential, a rewarding situation. So there is a lot of potential energy. This means also inspiration, resources that you have available and that you can use to um, engage with your priorities. And then we have the lovers honesty and letting go so we see the letting go here and the honesty and the lovers so you may need to use these resources here because you can be honest if you are honest with yourself you will be honest with another being and you will acknowledge with compassion that that is better for both of you here so you you see that you can have relationships as a good resources to draw to draw from and uh, those relationships can support you so you have relationships in your life right now that can support you on the long run and you have others that cannot support you on the long run and if you are honest with yourself and see this then you can draw from this energy of honesty 
a lot of clarity. And this is the tension and flow because there is tension here to let go. But once you let go, you get into flow. Mm, nice rhyme. <laughs> so once you let go, you get into flow with yourself again and also with the beneficial relationships in your life. And this is a resource. The honesty that you can master for yourself is a resource that is beneficial for you right now. And you are invited more and more to use that honesty in your relationships so you can free yourself and the other people. So you can free yourself from expectations that other people have about you as well as free yourself from uh, projections and expectations that you demand from the other people in your life. Beautiful resources you have here. Yep. Okay, now let's see the abilities. And we have trying angelic support harmony and perfect flow we have flow again <laughs> and then we have the shaman and the preserver so now we see the, uh, the main priorities here for you are being presented really nicely here now first let's talk about this one the trine so this as a quality is trust in angelic support and harmony of the universe and to trust that um, good energy is coming towards you, that this is a beneficial time for you to make all of these changement and, um, changements and all of those rearrangements in your life, it is in harmony with who you are. And by tapping into this, you get angelic support, you get divine team support, and everything becomes flowy. <laughs> everything becomes, um, well, not easy, but uh, flowing easily. <laughs> Okay, now let's go and see these here and we have Shaman and Preserver. And Preserver is about the Queen of Pentacles here. And the Shaman is about the world. So the qualities for you. The Preserver is the one that pre preserves and safeguards those things that are most important in your life and then uses those things as a foundation to build more and this is why it's connected with this priority here this quality also implies that you recognize in your life what is important to preserve like what you would like to preserve for the future what is worth your fight what is worth your energy what is worth preserving you know for example you can think if you would go to the moon what would you take from earth what is worth preserving so you can start life anew in a colony, for example, if that is possible. Just think about that. What would you preserve, take with you? Because it's so important that you would start again there to cultivate it or to enhance it again as a foundation for you. Because it is important for your future. And the shaman here is, oh, in this case for you, is the ability to be honest, to let go of the expectations and demands that you have over yourself and from other people. And to just see what you can use in each moment. This is also what the preserver does, you know. 
when um, you look at people, the preserver just uh, looks for that essence. What is the most important thing and what shines in that people, the gem, the diamond in that uh, being. And then she preserves that diamond and she recognizes it in that person. It doesn't mean that um, the preserver would demand that that person sees the diamond or uses it. But she will see it and it will be enough. And then the shaman is here to help you with the ability of seeing the truth beyond the mask and of letting go of being vulnerable with yourself and with others of course with the others that you feel okay to be vulnerable with and um, to heal that expect expectation that you have over the whole world like what you demand of the world what you demand of the other people in your life what you demand of uh, whatever um, endeavor or project you have in your life you may have had let's say uh, expectations in your life that have not been uh, that have not brought results that you expected of course that have uh, brought something back but mm, okay it was something but it was too little because you have invested so much but your investment maybe was not in the real thing in the diamond but you invested in what was not real in your expectations about that thing and project and now you are asked to um, let go of that and to see and be practical about it yes of course use your imagination and intuition and new ideas but be more practical in the idea that be honest with yourself and with what you can get from something and don't um, over um, indulge yourself in expectations that you somehow will get that maybe maybe in the future the thing is think like a project manager think like a business owner that um, looks into the future and see how you can make profit that is okay in your benefit and in the benefit of the people that you serve of course but so that you can have something to preserve so that you can find the gems there and be honest with yourself and because if you do this you will know how to invest so you can really uh, have abundance in your life so you do not struggle so you do not um, just expect for something to work out when it is not working out but you make what can work out work out and then from that you learn how to bring more and more abundance into your life and you will become skilled as uh, at uh, this as you work with it and practice with it and you double down on what works and you let go of uh, what doesn't work and you always, always adjust your expectations as you go. So let's see a really simple thing to do right now. Well, it will be to um, note down your expectations about your current business or resources or projects or ideas for the future and then look at those things with practical eyes and practical eyes doesn't mean that you chop them down and you uh, you think uh, like this is not gonna work out that's not actually practical you know things do work out but maybe they don't work out in the amount that you desire or in the direction that you desire so letting go of high expectations or 
low expectations is difficult but it is feasible it is feasible and you don't have to be perfect when doing this you just need to try that that is all and you will work things out on the way and you don't have to punish yourself or be pessimistic about what you're doing okay so this these are the priorities for you and um, the exercise is about your expectations if you've enjoyed this reading then go ahead and let me know in the comment area about your experience i also invite you to like and support the channel by doing this and uh, you can also subscribe if you haven't already if you have thank you very much if you haven't you can subscribe and also click the notification bell to get notified as soon as i post something new you are also invited on the telegram channel link in the description box if you wish to communicate in another way and also um, propose subjects for me to explore with the pick a card reading on this channel or uh, in a, some other way okay now um, i hope i see you in the next uh, meeting and until then all of the best may you find your way to your priorities and may love and wisdom shine upon you each moment hello part three welcome to your reading you have chosen this gold stone that is actually blue <laughs> it is a blue gold stone not sure if you can see how it shimmers really nice anyways as i connect with your energy what I feel is this um, desire to move forward, to keep the pace, to keep the rhythm high, to move and move and move and also to uh, increase the speed and increase the speed and increase also the awareness of your speed you would like to make things happen faster in your life and find those methods that actually help you to do just that and also to find the people that could help you move along faster or that could provide you the resources or the knowledge for you to move faster in your life because you would like to get to those achievements and to um, enjoy them, of course, to enjoy your achievements and your desires and to really um, make yourself a happy life. That's what I feel here, that you would like to have an envisioned happiness that you dream about. Now, in your pile, we have one vision and we will take a look at that. And then we will hear the messages of the cards. And at the end, we will make up a few necessary steps to move into your priorities and support your priorities. Okay, so let's go to the vision and then we uh, get back to the energy as well because i feel there's more to say here i feel like someone dragging me pushing me and also um, desiring for me to succeed and i can see a parental energy here maybe your parents or someone in your family pushing you or desiring really badly for you to succeed and kind of uh, putting on some pressure on what you can do. Yes, cheering you up, but sometimes that is too much and you feel it like a pressure 
at the back of your head just um, at the back of your neck pressuring you there to perform or to go towards your dreams or whatever you would like to um, bring forward into your life and it is also like someone is breathing directly at the back of your neck cheering you on but uh, just um, being too much just too close to you always being there it's a bit um, pressuring and annoying as well now the vision that we have is and i see materials silk that's what i see white silk being thrown and moved by the wind and this is a desert that I see and the silk being moved by the desert's wind and there's nobody there it is a scorching sun but the wind is refreshing the sand is not being moved by the wind and and it is such a calm environment and such a lonely environment as well but there is so much happiness here this is like the place that you would like to get to not physically of course but it represents your state, the state you are chasing. It is this desert state where you are okay with everyone looking at you because there's nothing there to cover you up. It's just sand, no vegetation whatsoever. So if you stay there, everything will be seen about you about your body of course and how you move and how you speak everything is in view in this environment so you would like to go there and be seen and be warmed by the attention of people or of um, life itself but at the same time without being moved by the wind without being influenced by uh, how people see you by how others uh, see your help or your offer by uh, what others envision or expect from you and just be there warmed by the sun and feel at ease this is what uh, you are looking for to, to just find your place in the sun and in the light to be seen, to be acknowledged in your position, in your skills, in your gifts, to uh, receive the necessary attention to grow but without being influenced by whatever is changing around you, like, the, like what society desires from you. You would like to be seen as you are without being influenced by anything else just as you are and without pressures of uh, any kind like the pressure that i already mentioned in the back of your head always someone there telling you how you should perform or how you should please or how uh, you should achieve or what you should achieve and how you should present that and your state how you should feel even if um, you are admired it's like you would like to be left to decide that on your own to discover how that feels on your own and to also discover your achievements on your own and understand what those mean to you and understand what is your um, your direction because in the desert it's really difficult to have a direction 
you need you really need to um, follow your intuition and follow the sun the light understand your environment which is a really simple one and your intuition your hope your trust pays a lot of value in this place and you would like to be orientated only by those things and not by the winds of people's opinions or what um, what society desires from you and i feel so much pressure in my throat right now so much pressure to speak in a certain way or to be in a certain way as to be accepted so your expression counts a lot the way you present yourself and how you speak you would like more freedom there as well okay so that is part of your priority it's what is beneath all of those priorities like the motivation that drives you now let's go and see the cards and we have the ace of wands the six of cups for you and the queen of wands so we have ooh, the scepter if that would be a scepter here that would be really nice the queen and her scepter so here you are being called to um, to make your own priorities to let go of whatever you've been guided to do so far and to start having the courage to decide for yourself so that is actually a priority for you here to decide for yourself and to uh, make your research and to uh, study whatever you need to make that, de that decision come forward easily for you but letting go of uh, the old motives and also the influences of other people letting go of influences that come from the world and other people this is another priority for you here and this priority the queen of wands she is the queen of priorities like she decides whatever she desires no one else decides for her so this is the priority for you to decide your own things and your own desires and to know your own passion and go for it another really big priority for you is to take action on your passion to really double down on what makes you happy but for that to know that to know what makes you happy you need to let go of everything that makes everyone else happy and to really ask yourself well what's for me what is out there for me that makes my heart sing and not necessarily other people and for that you are looking for that uh, desert environment this is why that's uh, like the motivation that drives you to find that desert state where there's no one there but yourself and you decide and you take action on what is working and what is uh, dreaming inside of your heart and being a child here is also a priority but not in a way that you need to be childish but in a way that you're asked to connect with your inner child and understand its desires for you to remember what you wished for when you were a child what you really desired when you were a child how did you see the world back then and 
What drives your passion as a child? What were you passionate about in uh, that moment? And for that to happen, you need to go back in the past and verify and understand the desires of your inner child. This is like you going back and actually speaking with your inner child. This can be like a meditation work or someone like a guide can help you go there and support that expression and that experience for you. Facilitate that experience for you. So that is for you to choose as well. How you do this is also your choice. But this is a priority to remember yourself as a child and to remember your passions and what was your motivation when you were a child. What were you dreaming about to become when uh, you were a child? So now I'm going to just let these speak directly to you for a little, for some moments, okay. Make sure that you push forward because you desire to do so. Make sure that the direction you're into, it is your direction and not somebody else's. Make sure that you take charge on what you are really passionate about and not what you think will bring you passion. These are two different things. Just remember, what you think will bring you passion and joy may not necessarily be what will bring you passion and joy. For that, your mind and your heart need to be on the same page so you can actually feel passion about what you're doing. So a direction and priority for you right now is to start applying action towards those things that actually bring you passion. And if you have a desire for a new project, for a new hobby, for a new passion, go for it. That is part of your priority. If you would like to start a business or a partnership or uh, a new dream or new vision, go for it. Start it right now. It is in your hands and it is a priority. Okay, now I will move forward to the next one. Make sure you give what you desire to give what comes from your heart, what comes from the love in your heart and the love in your soul, what makes you feel loved, what makes you feel empowered, give from that space and not from pity, not from, uh, oh my God, I need to help them because they are in need. Not from a place where you feel compelled to help someone. Not from a place where you feel that it is your duty. Not from a place where you feel that this is required or that you're obligated. But from a place where you feel full and you um, desire to offer the excess to someone else so they may enjoy what you enjoy so they may understand what you feel as love in your heart so make sure here that you give from plenty and not from fear or lack another priority here let's see Move forward with a lot of courage in your heart. Whatever happens around you doesn't matter as much as how you walk on your path. Your path is important right now. Your projects, your desires, make sure that they are a priority for you. 
you are the one who needs to put some order in your own life and really present yourself as responsible for yourself, for your choices, for the consequences. Because you may have said in the past, well, I am going to choose this because it is the right thing to do, because this is how everyone else thinks that I should do. But the consequence of that was that you became miserable in the end, hating what you did, or not feeling comfortable in it, or just not um, enjoying it at all, driving a lot of uncomfortable consequences towards you and affecting your courage and affecting your path and also your desired projects were put to the side waiting you have left waiting whatever you desired so you may do whatever you felt and others felt right for you in the moment and now it's time to let all of those priorities aside and to revive your own. And for that, you need courage to stand in your own self without, without excuses, without uh, being apologetic, without trying to explain everyone else who you are. Just show them. Okay. Now we will go forward here and see the hidden aspects. These are aspects that uh, sometimes may um, lead you astray or you may not know these aspects that are driving you behind your priorities under the current of your um, passions. Let's see. And we have house nine spiritual growth, we have healing and path, we have path. So we see here again that you've made your path being hidden and uh, you've left it there somehow in, in a box, in the attic buried somewhere but now it's time to rise up and take actions that are in alignment with your path and yes i can feel that there is a voice that says but i have been working on my path yes that was the path leading you to your path and you will recognize that once you start walking on it now healing here we see that to walk on your path to get to walk towards your purpose in life you need to pass through a process of healing and maybe you haven't considered this as um, seriously as you are asked to do that now so this comes out of the hidden of the unconscious telling you that healing is really important that it is time for you to look in those places where there is hurt where there is pain where there is suffering because those wounds keep you and um, influence your choices to not go and not reach your true path but walk on paths that avoid you learning from your wounds, from the obstacles, from the pain and suffering of the past. And also from the pain and suffering caused by other people. Because we've spoken here that it is a priority for you to let go of other people's opinions and judgments of you. And that those people's opinions and judgments have caused suffering in you, wounds and hurts that need to be healed. So you can start walking tall on your path 
and we see that this is part of your spiritual growth and it is important healing this type of healing that i've spoken about is part of your spiritual growth and it is the one that will lead you to be truly connected to your path now let's go and we will see the resources that you have available to um, to follow your priorities and the abilities that you need to develop on that or that you have and you need to use more so you can really take action on your priorities and we'll go here and we have your resources and fire passion confidence optimism past passion and bravery and then trapped and new horizons these are the resources that you already have and need to tap in more and we have that fire passion optimism and bravery they are all there but you have used them somehow to walk in a different direction but you can use them to walk on your path as well so this is a major resource for you and if you start employing this wow you will just shoot up like a star because this is the drive that passion that flourishes in you and grows and grows and creates so much um, explosion of beauty and bravery around you and it will push you to act and take some risks and have confidence in your own abilities and powers so tap into this resource more and more remind yourself every day that you can be confident optimistic passionate and brave and trapped now this is strange as a resource right but here what i understand for, for from this <laughs> is to actually see the limits that have been entrapping you those uh, people's opinions that have put you in a box and have limited you so so much the judgments the hurts that um, other people have caused you and uh, society's rules as well and all sorts of things that have kept you in a box this is the time to look at that because you can you have the confidence here the optimism and the bravery you have the courage to look and see all of these limitations and because you get to see them then you get to have more strength and more confidence to get out of them and then we see new horizons here this is again another resource for you to tap into and this is speaking to us about the ability to look forward with optimism and confidence again to understand that there is a new beginning for you out of this box out of this box and that it is time for you to tap into your ability to move on to let go of the old horizons and look forward to the new ones to the new limits you know the horizon itself it is a limit what we can see the furthest we can see we cannot see over the horizon but if we move um, in a place that is higher like um, if we, if we climb on a mountain for example the horizon will be further so we will see more and this is what is being asked of you to move higher so you have a better perspective out of this box to move away from people's opinions limiting beliefs patterns and the hurts that have been telling you how to be or how to act or who you are to move out of these boxes 
and you will see new limits you will see further and you will have more options in your life because of that and this will give you so much more confidence in your powers and abilities as well now let's see abilities to develop and we have for you the wayfarer the dusk child and jupiter will grow and expand so i will start with this because it is so obvious the ability that you need here to follow your priorities is the ability to grow and expand with confidence and bravery over your current limits and the limitations that have been imposed on you by other people and by all sorts of rituals and um, belief systems so here to grow and expand and we also have spiritual growth this is like a priority for you as well but it is a hidden priority it's something that drives you it doesn't need for you to uh, do something about it um, um, besides just following it that is all this is something that works with you in your unconscious driving you forward towards the priorities mentioned and growing and expanding is one of the um, abilities needed here and then we have these two now the wayfarer is this person that um, is opened to research and uh, to travel to travel physically but also psychically and mentally and to be brave enough to search and be curious and be open-minded and letting go of arrogance of um, thinking you know letting go of whatever other people think they know because those are limits what we think we know it's a limit and when you realize that you realize you don't know a lot of things and this is the ability for you to develop here to have a really open mind to uh, search to be curious about yes because we've spoken here about you learning to decide for yourself and for that you need to be curious you need to have this uh, open mind the open mind also means that you open up to whatever information comes towards you but you do not uh, believe it until it makes itself valuable and useful to you you don't just believe everything you are curious to find out you use information without attaching to it like becoming a believer you don't need that that is an open mind an open mind is always open to change that means that it doesn't get stuck in beliefs or in thinking that something is in a certain way of course we need um, to have truth as our um, secure foundation but that is your experience that builds up as you curiously search and open your mind more and more to what comes towards you and the dusk child now this character here is the one that goes within deeply and has the courage to accept obscurity and to accept darkness and to accept whatever it is hidden as a balance to whatever it is seen this dusk child here 
acknowledges the duality of uh, light and darkness, of shadow and obscurity, all of this play and um, accepts both of them without prejudice, without judging one of them short or evil, without judging what's there as being a monster or as being something that is um, harming this doesn't mean that there are no such things out there that can be harmful for you but it means that you are willing to have an open mind to search and see if that is actually what you think it is if that is actually what you've been taught it is if uh, people's beliefs are in the way that they are and if you can understand something else and have a new perspective this is why you also need the open mind here because the other skill is a skill to go deeply and accept the duality and accept the obscurity because this is where you find those wounds to heal so we see the abilities here for you needed to develop is the open mind, the lack, uh, the letting go of prejudice and judgment, and also the ability to and the willingness to go deeply within and heal and to confront what is there in the obscurity of yourself without having so much um, rejection of those places of those trapped places and limits here we see that you have the resources to see what is there in the obscure corners of your personality and self so these are the qualities that uh, need to develop in you so you can follow these priorities in a way that it is uh, well easy and successful so let's see if we can come up with some easy steps for you here and um, okay the exercise that i am getting right now is a really simple and it is to just um, write down what about about your resistance why do, don't you want to go towards your passions just write about that where is that resistance and after you write whatever comes to your mind just read and ask yourself if that is something you think really and feel as truth or is something you have borrowed uh, and uh, acquired from someone else is something the society thinks is the truth is something that you feel the truth or uh, as a lie or as a hindrance in your life is something that you don't actually understand and you need to be more curious about and to search so work with that work with your resistance the resistance that you have to start something new, to welcome in an openness of your mind, to welcome in this pursuit, um, pursuing your own desires and dreams. What is keeping you away from starting? Because here, this priority that you have one of them is to go for it, to start. So what is keeping you from doing that? Okay, now these have been the messages for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, then go ahead and let me know in the comments about your experience. I also invite you to click the like button to let me know you like these subjects. You can also subscribe if you haven't already and click the notifications bell so you can get notified as soon as I post something new. For all of you that are subscribed, thank you. I really appreciate you showing 
that um, support and showing me support for this channel and you are also welcomed to come on the telegram channel link in the description box where you can also um, propose subjects for me to um, explore with the pick a card reading on this channel until the next time may you feel all the courage inside of you running through your veins desiring to come and support you in your endeavors in your dreams until next time love and wisdom hi pile four welcome to your reading you've chosen this satellite raw crystal now as i connect with your energy what i feel is this hesitation hesitation to do something like you really wish to do something but there's something <laughs> there inside of you keeping you from it and it is doubt and there is also something like um, judgment or accusation that's what i feel here judgment and accusation about something in your life that's not working as you think it should or as other think it should well that is a bit of disappointment here but this is a temporary incident this is what i'm being told to tell you here that this is just something that uh, doesn't deserve so much energy and so much attention from you it will resolve itself and if you're asking yourself how you will find out once you do not put so much emphasis on it you will realize that this can be solved in an easier way and the solution is actually um, close to you and you will see it once you let go of this um, emphasis or um, doubt that you can actually understand or solve this okay so this is something that has been specific for some of you and it may not be a, a valid for all of you but it is something that uh, is somehow distracting and it is distracting you from your real priorities this is why it needed to be mentioned here now let's go to the visions and then to the messages of the cards and at the end we will come up with some easy steps to uh, start you off on these priorities and you can feel the hesitation in my voice i am hesitant to even speak or to even uh, go on because i can feel this resistance it's like a really powerful wind that i'm trying to go through <laughs> okay now let's go to the vision and we will leave this hesitation to wait here the vision that i see is about a tree and the tree is alone in a forest and i cannot see any beings around it this is what it is strange not even a bee not even a mosquito or something lurking there in uh, the grass maybe well this is awkward it's like everything is dead around this tree but the tree is amazing it's one of those really beautiful strong trees and it has many years because it, it's trunk it's really big so and i cannot even see the whole tree oh and this is a family tree as well like an inheritance tree where the roots are 
your family like your parents your grandparents and the the branches are your current family and your children mm -hmm. this is why there's no other beings around because this is about your own family and your roots and your future your dna your inheritance and everything that goes with that let's see what about this please show me more what's this about and now they're showing me like a hole inside the trunk of the tree and in it i can see a light and it is a light that is flashing, flashing in a certain type of rhythm. And this rhythm goes on, off, on, off, and all on, off again. It is like an alarm. Like there is an alarm there in this family tree. Let's see what is this about. Show me more. So I can see now that this light is bursting out of the tree on the other side causing a burn in the tree and a hole again. Trying to get out, it is struggling there. It is struggling to get out and leave just like it has been trapped in there in this tree. Hmm, that, that is so interesting to see. Show me more, what is this about? okay and this now they are showing me someone like a higher being healing the tree stabilizing the light the inner light oh that light was doing that because of fear fear and terror and now this higher being is just patching and healing the tree and putting everything so that the light can actually move and sustain the tree through the branches and through the roots because it wasn't doing that it was suppressed caught in a certain pattern of alarm like stress really high stress and fear so yes now i understand that uh, there is a process that's going on in your family that is not only about you it is also about your parents your ancestors and your children as well and you are being helped by higher beings by your spiritual guides by your soul as a team you're doing this as a team because your light which is part of your soul has been frightened in a, uh, and has been working out of balance with your own path and has not been sustaining you for some time now it has been caught and strangled by this fear and it has been caught in a some kind of vicious cycle where you constantly lived that kind of pain and fear and now something is happening you have agreed to um, heal this but this takes a lot of time and it may feel like uh, some things are, are changing in your lives that you don't have any control about but those things are about your personal lives they are really not about the world itself although the world of course has say in this but in this process the changes that are going on are about your health and your healing process and this restoration of courage inside of you of hope of connection with your higher selves and your soul and of being nourished by source this is a reconnection to source itself and you're welcoming this and you're working this with your whole family 
but this may as i've already mentioned bring some changes in your life that can be out of the blue also about people the way they speak to you the way they uh, see you the way they um, interact with you because old wounds may come up to the surface really really fast you may get triggered about whatever you cannot even understand because those things are so deeply inside of you and the message here is that you recognize that this is happening and to be kinder with yourself and with everyone in your family going through this because not all of you know about this or even have the intuition to understand this or the knowledge to understand the awareness to see this and you here wow this has been a really uh, powerful message for you coming through right now to um, to know this to notice this and it has to do with what i said earlier about that disappointment and that hesitation because you may not even uh, know or you have, may not have known about this process going on in your family and that may have just broken some uh, connections with your family or changed them in some way and because you get to be aware about this the message is to be kind to be more welcoming, more kind, uh, kinder with uh, yourself and other people and to be more accommodating a little bit, to um, stop yourself faster when you're being triggered by someone, especially in your family, to know that love is there even if all of those things come to the surface and love is being restored. And for you being becoming aware of this, you are invited to uh, do this consciously. And when you get triggered by someone, to just snap out of it and to realize, wait, I can employ kindness, compassion and love here and open up this wound so we can heal, so we can heal together. That's so beautiful to see okay so now let's go to the um, cards and we have two of cups and we have the fool and we have the four of swords so these are your three priorities but as we saw in the vision that was so powerful it has to do with relationships so relationships are a priority but relationships that are connected through love all of the relationships that are connected through love and we can see here also this um, building and this reminds me of heritage uh, as well and inheritance and also about connecting all sorts of uh, people in your family maybe long lost cousins or whatever um, type of um, relationships that you may not have yet discovered in your family. You are called here as a priority to be more curious about um, the relationships in your family and how they work and uh, how they fulfill you and what they bring to you and also to heal them, to connect more, to open up more towards your loved ones. And your husband and your current children are part of that family. And also your um, godfathers, if you have any, those spiritual um, guides or uh, parents, spiritual parents in your family, those may be uh, friends and also uh, godparents or uh, godfather, grandmother, grandmother. Whoa! <laughs> I cannot say that word properly right now. Um, grandparents, yep. And to research about their lives 
to be curious about how how was their experience with their lives what happened how did they express love how can you connect with them deeply by accepting their pain and suffering and their experiences and also for those of you who do not have yet a partner looking for one is also a priority uh, looking and opening up to love opening up to loving yourself and also to a loving partner that is a priority actually for you because family is so important in this pile now these other priorities this priority is about you being so courageous to look forward to a new beginning uh, with your family and in your life to let go of the past or to heal the past and all of the problems in it to forgive and to let go and have the courage to move forward in life without all of that baggage without all of that judgment and also to start anew with your beliefs and your dreams to dream something new and to have confidence and trust to go towards that and the four of swords see here is also about mental health to let go of from all of the patterns that are not working in your thinking of the negative thinking to let go of that of the judgments and the hurts of the past to see them as they are and to put boundaries whatever you need but to control yourself this means to control your reactions to be kinder to yourself and other people and to let go of uh, wanting to solve things through um, maybe violence not necessarily um, physical violence but maybe uh, speech violence or any type of um, rejection or confrontation that can result in hurting you or someone else so this is a priority to calm your mind to let go of negative thinking and judgments about you the world or other people to um, Concentrate on peace and how you can speak from a, a place of calm to let go of um, trying to please someone and speak from uh, the truth, speak the truth and also keep your reactions to yourself, to not be so quickly reacting to other people, to calm down first and then speak later if you uh, feel that you need to yell at someone just temper yourself and say to yourself i i cannot speak with you from this type of um, state right now please i wish to speak to you in another way let me just uh, compose myself let get, let me come back to this discussion in a later time so I can be a better so I can express to you from peace so I cannot be mean to you please help me do that for you and for me as well and this can be such a difference it can make such a difference in all of your relationships that we can see that relationships and family is so strong here as a priority and uh, this type of um, new beginning in your relationships and in your priorities I will also let them speak by themselves to you directly so you can hear a few messages directly coming from these priorities i wish you would walk wow <laughs> that was strange it's like i cannot speak anymore maybe you are trying to speak to someone and you don't get understood properly or you cannot find the words and you lose yourself Oof. 
Okay, let's go again. I wish that you would open up to speak to me more. To communicate as much as you can in the way that you can. Even if I cannot understand. Just uh, let that go. Just let that go. I can and I will understand you. Please insist with me. So this is a person that really wishes to communicate with you. And um, they may not understand or they may judge you. But they still want to communicate with you. They wish that you would just uh, let go of their judgments. They may not be so um, attached to those. They may just um, have, you know, um, <laughs> they may just uh, tell without meaning. They may just speak without thinking and so on. And this is why they are asking you to insist in uh, speaking to them whatever and however you can so this is for some of you okay open up more to love open up more towards those who love you because they are there open up more this is so strong here to open up to love or to someone else to share your feelings with them to let go of that hesitancy that I felt in the beginning to just go speak to them. And this may be a friend or a potential lover or even your spouse because you may not have that courage to speak or share some of your feelings or some of your wishes regarding them or your relationship. So this com communication, sharing feelings in a relationship is important let's go further let go of your fears to step into the unknown just walk just do stop analyzing so much your steps just walk just go forward just let go it is that easy it, and it can be that easy just be just let go of uh, whatever you think is wrong inside of you and move forward. You don't have to stay there in the wrong, always accusing yourself of being wrong, either in your choices or either in what consequences you have and life brings to you. Just let go of those accusations and move forward. Be kinder to yourself and move forward and be opened enough to start new things in your life, to risk a little bit of being called crazy or of coming to be out of balance, the balance that is no longer working for you or the stability that's no longer working for you. So it's time to do some uh, movement here to step into something new, to actually uh, go forward. And this can be a new passion, a new love, a new way of communicating with your family and with your friends, a new beginning and chapter in your life, a new identity and personality for you, and also letting go of judgments and accusations here and of being wrong. Just find out how you can be better and move towards that. Let's go here now. Don't be afraid of what you don't see. Don't be afraid of what's in the shadows, of what's dark. That is very well seen in contrast with the light. It's not hidden. It is there for you to see. But Fear is keeping you away. Fear is keeping you hesitant and without possibility and action to move forward. Fear needs to be dealt with. With opening your eyes and just looking at it. Just realizing it that realizing that the fear is not bigger than you. Is not bigger than you. 
and um, don't let it occupy all of you and don't become your fear it's just a part of you you can deal with it you are bigger than your fears so here we see that uh, priority to work on uh, clearing up your mind and calming your reactions and seeing things from a different perspective and letting go of negative talk and of accusations again. Okay, now we will go and see what's hidden here, what are the hidden factors and aspects influencing your priorities. And we have relationships again and mystery and Venus with give and receive love, find value and see beauty. So we see that this is driving you. This is something that works within you and you don't really recognize it. Relationships and the mystery of relationships makes you feel hesitant, maybe not implicating yourself with all of your love and passion, maybe not sharing all of your dreams with this person or not uh, opening up with to a new person, maybe not seeing your beauty and uh, not opening up to receive and give love. This is um, making you hesitant. It's like you're having fears around relationships and their mysteries. It's like you're maybe you're um, awaiting that something bad would just come up from the darkness and um, just um, take you by surprise and ruin all of your life. And this is something that is about your family. This is a pattern in your family. This is why it is in the hidden and it's in the mysterious zone. Because I'm feeling that you're playing this game of hesitancy in relationships, of being afraid of something bad happening and of um, always uh, starting a new, another relationship, of going from one to the other without connecting truly without uh, opening up and giving and receiving love in the same way between the partners and you may be having these fears long and uh, their time is uh, long past they need to be let go of even if you have a truly beautiful relationship this may hinder more connection and uh, a real communication that goes really deep within you. So this is something that uh, affects you from going forward in love, from uh, starting a new and seeing things new, from starting a new conversation because there is fear here and this mystery is about a pattern that has been playing out in your family. And um, to discover this pattern, what I uh, recommend you here is to analyze the communication in your family. How did they communicate? The partners, the, the parents, your grandparents and your aunts, your cousins, how is their relationship, their communication with their partners? What's going on there? What are the patterns that usually come up to the surface? Because if you just take a piece of paper, so this is actually the exercise for you and it's coming now and I'm going to give it to you now. So. Take a piece of paper and just write down the names of uh, how many members and couples in your family, just like you're making a tree. And then write besides them, just um, instead of making a tree, you can put them all in a line and just connect them with uh, lines. And afterwards, write besides them 
how communication worked between the couple and in that family. What has happened? Did uh, they uh, reject themselves? Is there divorce? Is there separation in there? What happened? And just look at the surface. What really happened and you know about? And you can also ask more details about. And you will see that there is pattern that there is a pattern there that some things repeat in your family throughout your um, family tree and that you have things that are similar or just the same stuff repeating again and again and uh, that pattern you can search then and research more now we will take a look at the resources you have available to start working on these priorities and then the abilities that need to be developed so you can uh, better uh, align yourself and uh, have success with these priorities and these are your resources and we have mars with move forward and defend self Ooh, so we see here that a resource that you need is also to defend yourself and have the courage to speak up but not from that place of uh, anger mars yes is the planet of uh, conflict and wars but it is also the planet of uh, passion drive action that is connected and aligned with your soul and also physical and psychological defense and that means that you learn how to defend yourself but also what is a defense for you that is not aggressive necessarily with other people and this also means to stand in your own power to acknowledge your own abilities and to ask for what you deserve instead of just um, moving forward without uh, putting necessary boundaries like i have mentioned here this is a priority for you to realize how to uh, put up necessary boundaries with other people and also how to ask what's for yourself and what's good for you and how to change the communication in your family as well and with other people and mars here is a resource for you because it's the energy to move yourself forward through the hesitation to actually do the exercise that i have mentioned and to actually start changing and learning about communication. Mars is also about taking initiative in communicating and in uh, your dreams and your endeavors and also driving you forward with confidence. It's also confidence. So you have this resource of confidence, of knowing what's good for you, of putting up necessary boundaries uh, and the energy to go through that hesitancy and actually change something and then we have a journey loss and the spinner and we see this idea of moving forward in the full here in this journey here in mars move forward because i have also mentioned the energy in the beginning that hesitancy to move forward and um, that accusation that i found out here as well because you may accuse yourself of something you've done in the past that uh, of losses from the past of hurts but um, all of that is your journey it's part of your journey and your journey comes up here as a resource for you to tap into this journey is about your inheritance as well your family tree as well 
your current experience and the experience of your family. So this is a resource to tap into and I've already given that exercise for you to use. And the spinner here speaks about also waving, waving, spinning the, the time, waving the time and waving the, the wheels of time, but also the, the threads. Yes, that was the word I was searching for the threads of your life so we see here that the journey and the spinner is also speaking about your inheritance and the past and your experiences and the experiences of your family which is an incredible resource for you to tap into and then loss loss as a resource here is because of the lessons that loss brings to you so go towards those um, experiences that brought loss to you because they have something to teach you and that is also a resource for you because after you let go and um, uh, catch the, the, the teachings from the loss experiences, you draw the wisdom out of them, you let them go and start a new path for you this will help you move into this priority and let go of the, the baggage of the past. Not that you're going to forget, but you're going to understand what it, uh, is useful to bring forward into your future and what is not. So we see this um, family tree as a resource for you here. Now let's see the abilities that you need and we have Taurus with trust, patience and sensuality. Taurus is this warm, warm sensation that I feel here. Taurus is really passionate about the love and about pleasing the ones that they love and about um, satisfying the natural pleasures, earthly pleasures of life and this is a skill for you to enjoy life. This is the skill that you need to develop to enjoy life with patience and sensuality and to just trust that you can have whatever you need in life. Then we have the storyteller and the oracle interesting abilities the storyteller it is this person that um, tells stories to their family to other people about themselves and also about the about the people in the town in the community so we see here that you need to develop this ability to share your feelings and your thoughts to communicate with the other people in your family, in your community in a way that is beneficial through stories, for example, through examples and experiences to share truthfully and um, in a natural way your uh, problems, your issues because you will find support in other people if you learn how to do this. And then we have the Oracle. The Oracle is here to remind us of the ability to trust our senses, our body, to trust our intuition and the omens, the signs we can see in nature, and to understand that our instincts, Taurus, is also about uh, earthly instincts and uh, truly enjoying those instincts. So we see here that um, developing the trust in your instincts, in your body, will be beneficial for you because it will help you communicate and connect with people in another way and also connect with nature and um, with uh, with life in another way. So 
So the abilities here for you is the ability to share and communicate in a way that is beneficial and uh, non-aggressive and uh, you can use stories to do that to enhance the communication with your loved ones and the second one is to trust your instincts your earthly instincts and your pleasures and desires of the body and to have patience with it and express them truly express them with ease and i find resistance in this in here because sensuality may pose some um, some resistance because i can feel there are some old beliefs here that need to change and uh, that you need to clear up some beliefs here yes in your family tree about sensuality and uh, sexual expression and connection with other people so you may learn more how to love and how to be loved and how to open up to love okay beautiful priorities here about your life <sighs> now another thought is coming here because another thing for you as a priority is to organize your um, your work in another way so it may be more more comfortable for you this is what i'm told and i am shown time so maybe um, if you can arrange your um, the program of your work the time the hours that you work in or maybe take some uh, change there in some way in the way that you work so it is more comfortable for you okay now this has been uh, the reading for you if you've enjoyed this reading, then go ahead and let me know in the comments about your experience. I also invite you to subscribe if you haven't already and to click the like button and the notifications bell so you get notified as soon as I post something new. For those of you who are subscribed, I am grateful that you are supporting my channel and supporting what I do here and I invite you to also like this uh, video and to let me know that you um, enjoy this type of subject and you are also welcomed on the telegram channel link in the description box where you can also propose um, subjects for me to explore with the bigger card readings now until next time i wish you all of the best may you find a way to connect uh, stronger with your inheritance with your family tree and uh, the curiosity to go and search and learn more about your family until next time love and wisdom may you open up to love in your life and to a deeper connection with people.